This video is gonna show you how to thread your needle and how to tie the knot at the end. So you, my thread's already cut. So you find the end of your thread and then you can see that hole that's called the eye of the needle. And so that's where we wanna put the thread in. So I am going to uh, just kind of gently try to poke it in and you see that it's starting to go. And then I'm going to very carefully pinch from the other side and pull it through so that I have, this is called the tail, so I have a little bit of a tail hanging off. If yours isn't going in very easily, sometimes the thread, th the thread frays a tiny bit when you cut it, or maybe you like cut it, and but then didn't like use it right away. So you can always take your scissors and just give it a little bit of a snip to make sure it's nice and pointy at the end. So I have my needle threaded, that side's good. Of course, before I start sewing, I'm gonna need a knot at the other end. If I don't put a knot at the other end, the thread's just gonna come right through. So, I know that many people were taught when they were younger to sew like this. So, to fold the thread in half, and then you would tie these two ends to create a knot. Do not do that. Uh, the reason why kids are taught that is because they're not as good at making sure that the thread doesn't accidentally pull through here, but I'm going to show you how to do that. I'll teach you how to do that. Um, so we are only going to tie one knot. Two reasons. One, because then you're using half the amount of thread, so I have to buy half the amount of thread. That's gonna save us money to do other things in class. But also, it's because if you make a mistake, if you've only knotted one end and you've left the other end by itself, it is much easier to fix. If you've knotted both ends, it's very frustrating. You're probably gonna have to rip out a few stitches and go back and redo them. Whereas if you do it this way and you end up with a little bit of a mistake, you won't have to rip out any of your old work and redo it. So now to actually tie the knot. So let me get some of this other thread. So we just have the one end in front of us right now. So a lot of people, when they tie a knot, they want to do, you know, tie a knot, just stick it through and tie it. Um, you can see that knot right there is very tiny. It would be very easy for this to pull through most fabrics. So this won't actually stop anything. So don't do it that way. Instead, you're going to wrap around your finger. I like to wrap it around and make an X. I think that's the easiest way, but some people like to wrap, if that's a little bit tricky for you, some people like to wrap around maybe like three times, so they kind of make a couple Xs wrapping over. Um, just if you do it this way, just make sure you don't do it too tight because that'll be difficult. So I'm gonna go back and do it the X because that's how I like it. So I'm using, this is my right index finger and I wrapped it around. You see there's just a little tail there at the end. You don't need a ton of thread on the other end. And then also notice that it's just above the crease in my finger. You don't want it to be um, below that because it's gonna get stuck here when we start to roll. So our next step is to roll. So I am going to pinch this with my fingers. So I'm not using my left hand at all. I'm just using one hand and I'm rolling those two together. So I'm pressing kind of hard to roll and you see I rolled all the way to the very tip of my fingers until I can't roll anymore and then you can just let it go. And see how we have this little loop right here. I call it a lasso. So now if, let me see. So here's the other end. Mine's really tiny. Yours might be longer. If it's longer, don't touch it. Don't touch the short end, only touch the long end. If you touch the short end, you're just gonna pull it all out. So then I take my thread and I pinch really hard. So notice how my finger's actually kind of turning white there. I pinch really hard. I take my other hand and I pull the long end. And you pull, 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 pull. It's gonna start to get stuck a little bit. Keep going until it's totally stuck. Mine's totally stuck right now, so I can let go. And I can kind of like test it. So it did end up pulling out a little bit, um, 
but there's still a big ugly knot there, which is what you want, a big ugly knot. So I'm gonna do it one more time, a little bit faster. So again, make an X, pinch, roll until you have a lasso. Make sure you only hold the long end. Now pinch that long thread really hard. Pull, 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 pull with the other hand. And again, we have a nice ugly knot, which is just what we want.